All right, uh, hello all, and welcome back. I'm proud to present another project I'm working on, and I've called it Gnome X. And if you've been following the channel, you probably guessed that Gnome X would be Gnome Shell with XFCE for elements. And uh, just to give you an example of your activities, um, Sunar is the default file manager. And uh, I have a grandpa Sunar for the archive manager and a few other customizations uh, the way I like to use GNOME basically. Now the uh, default installation doesn't come up with all this stuff at the top here. These are extensions of course you can add. Um, but uh, it does come with uh, documentation uh, by default. Okay and just to get you started and some things you'll have to adjust. So with that being said, uh, I have VirtualBox here and uh, I have uh, the uh, GNOME X uh, ISO, which is Arch Linux, obviously, with GNOME, uh, with an installer uh, from Carl Duff, the maker of um, Architect Linux. Uh, this is based on the Pack Bang um, installer. So I'll zoom in on your main, if you install us, want to install us on your main system, it works fine. Um, so this will be much larger, of course. So I'll just zoom in and just boot and it's 64 bit only. So just the first option, just press enter and give it a little bit of time to uh, start up because uh, it's just loading some things for the live environment and it will auto, it should automatically log you in. And hopefully with your uh, graphics and so on detected. Uh, there's one thing though is VirtualBox or something's acting up and I always get this message. On your main system you just uninstall VirtualBox uh, util guest utilities. Okay so uh, the only way I can get this to work is you go to activities and right here it says install GNOME X and this will bring up the PacBang installer so you select your language and press enter and just some checks and there's some uh, neat things I like that uh, that have been added so prepare installation set your virtual console if you're English US or US just press end and up to US set your keyboard layout same idea wherever you uh, want it located. You can list devices. You can see there's something on here. Partition. Partition disk. There's only one here. If there's more, they'll be listed. It's 8 gigs. It's plenty of room. And I like this here. Securely, securely wipe device. Optional. So you can do that. And it gives you a warning that all data will be gone. So you press yes. And it gives you a nice little uh, percentage of how much the uh, system is uh, being cleared. Okay, so I'll just uh, let that uh, do its thing and I'll be back in a second. All right, so once it's finished, it brings you back to the menu and we'll just go down to what do you want to use for partitioning automatic, GParted, CF disk, or parted. GParted is a graphical one, so I'll choose that one. Just press enter. And now that I've wiped the disk, uh, we have to create a new partition table. So we go under device, create partition table. In this case, it's MS-DOS. Click apply. And then now we just hit this create new partition. Uh, you can decide what you want. I'm just going to leave it all as just one partition. You can put a label like Arch64. Should do click add and then this will apply the operations and click apply and close let me close this now this is really neat I'm not going to go through it but you can have Luke's encryption and uh, LVM as well so we're just going to mount partitions and if you notice here it says you can if you've already formatted it except for UFI boot partitions uh, you can press skip none so press OK it's already been formatted, so hit skip none. Mount successful. And we're done. 
and we hit Mac and then install base which will install GNOME X and uh, this this will take a, a few minutes a couple of minutes at least so I'll be back when this is uh, finished okay so once the uh, packages have been installed uh, just run the MK init CPIO and I'll just do its uh, usual routine now we go on to install bootloader uh, most of the time you're gonna you'll be fine with grub the first option so just hit hit enter it includes this includes OS prober so any other system it should find it in grub so you have that choice to boot to another uh, OS if you have another one installed so we go back configure base generate the file system table and there's a lot more options here I'm just going to use the third one um, device UUID if you're using uh, UEFI uh, obviously you choose that but third option is fine host name you just backspace call anything you want I'm just going to call it VBox uh, your system locale wherever you are see ENUS and then uh, we'll go to your uh, time zone and clock select your continent and a city that's close to you and I'll ask you if you want that yes and I usually choose UTC okay so let's set that up for you set your root password and uh, just add a user and so on. Once it's finished creating users and groups, it goes back to option seven. Uh, I love this. This is really cool. Security and system D tweaks. I do all of these actually. Um, and it would save saves me time now from doing this. So amend journal logging. It says, you know, uh, it's 10%. So 500 means 50 gig, which is kind of crazy for a journal. So I usually use 50 megabytes. You can go to 100 if you want or disable it, but 50 is a good medium, medium I guess. Uh, disable core dump logging. That's a security feature. I recommend doing that. So storage is none or you can edit yourself. So I'll just disable. And then the kernel, uh, restrict access. So you have to run dmessage if you're familiar with that command as sudo okay which is another security feature so I usually enable that enable that feature by disabling the kernel log okay so go back review configurations v console there's a new uh, editor uh, genie uh, you can set your font here if you wish ISO 02-12 by 22 is what I use control s to save control q to quit and your locale configuration you can look at it it looks fine uh, your host name hosts I usually change this uh, from localhost I, I change it to whatever I have my host name so vbox in this case and this last one vbox save and close sudoers uh, same idea I changed this to where it says wheel equals all all at the beginning of the, this line here on 82 line 82 put a hash or a number pound sign whatever and then uh, take out the one that has no password here okay when you're done with that save and close mk init config should be fine but you can look at it uh f stab uh, you have different uh you can see that it's uh, using a unique identifier. It has a label, as we specified, the extension, and the types. Okay, so let's find the way it is. Um, grub. Um, I usually mess around with a few parameters. In this case, I'm going to change the graphics mode, since it's VirtualBox to 1024 by 768. You don't have to do that. And then save and close. I uh, also included a light DM GTK greeter configuration, but um, I already have one uh, for you and ready. If uh, that's a little easier, it's a, it's a front end. You can uh, mess around with this stuff. So I'll just leave that as is. Pac-Man you can look at and then go back. Done and close installer. 
and you can uh, go to your power menu here you press alt f2 start typing re reboot and press enter and it'll reboot the system and if you already have uh, if you're using VirtualBox, just go to boot existing OS and press enter. And we should be presented with the light DM login screen with your username. So you just fill in your password. Okay. Ah, yeah, and there's the VirtualBox message. Okay, so a couple of very important things. You can see here the time is not correct. I'll get rid of this message here. So the first thing you do it's in the documentation here under troubleshooting is just uh, right click or whatever settings go down to when it opens up down to time and date here on this under system open that up and you can either start uh, under time zone click and type in a sitting or if you want you can try automatic date and time and time zone Give it a second. There you go. Now it's been uh, updated to the actual the correct date and time. All right. So you have to do that. I'm not sure what's going on with that. It could be a gnome thing. Uh, another thing is definitely uh, uh, this here. Um, the only way I can get this to look uniform. So like when you uh, using the live and then you install it it looks pretty much the same as what it was is I added a, a tweak setting so we have to open the tweak tool if you don't do this the keyboard shortcuts and the, any scene changes uh, they won't stick so go to uh, tweak tool startup applications and where it has gnome theme just click remove and close and close this and then uh, you can either reboot or log out. So just uh, under your username, just select log out and log back in. And those keyboard shortcuts weren't working with that setting. So now uh, Alt H will bring up Thunar. Control Alt T will bring up a terminal. And this is XFCE4 terminals I mentioned. And of course Thunar. And we can eject the disk here. And uh, there's uh, some neat things is uh, if you press F10, F10, you can actually change the accelerator. So like open and open and open terminal here, sorry, if you press F4 and then open another folder, downloads and press F4, it'll open the terminal in that folder. Okay, it's kind of handy, I think. Okay, and a few things. Uh, the monitor, system monitor is actually the Mate Mate system monitor. I just find it a little more, I don't know, I just like it, the information it tells you the system and resources. Uh, on your main system, that pro the memory usage should probably be a lot higher. It shows you the file system, 2.6 gigs used, so it's not too bad in that in that respect anyway. Now, I, out of for default, because I wanted to try to cut down on the ISO side, size, I include Epiphany, which is the web, um, default web browser. It's not that great but it's enough to get you started say if you go to arch if you want to go to arch wiki you can search for it i changed the default to google you can change that through the preferences so the arch wiki and control and plus to zoom in on the text if you need to and control minus zoom in out and if you want you can uh, click this wrench or this whatever this thing is here broken nose looks like football I don't know uh, save as a web app and then uh, call it uh, arch wiki creates close this down go to your activities overview and there it is there you can put in your favorites and then this should open up straight into the arch Linux wiki and Anything you do now from now on, if you have a zoom factor, it should remember that setting. Okay, but I would strongly suggest uh, you probably want to get a browser. So another thing that seems to be working now is uh, if it doesn't work, I have documentation on fixing uh, Pac-Man. 
just follow these steps here but it seems to be working and I also made up another batch file called mirror so you just that uh, sudo leaf pad let me zoom in here and it's under uh, slash USR bin mirrors press enter there you go and you can change variables such as how many you can have 200 here and uh, list rate of 200 200 here and 200 here or replace the six uh, the n is for the hours protocol is http and if you want to change this just make sure it stays in the same close to something like the united states and then save close and just from the from the command prompt just type in mirrors and it should uh, sync the mirror list to what location you specified after that another command uh, default command is p sync pacman sync so it will sync the uh, mirror lists and uh, again depending on your connection it may take some time and from there you can do a pseudo pacman dash capital s y u or just pack u to check for updates i believe there's at least one from uh, the time i compiled this yeah just uh yow art which is included uh, obviously in there so you can install stuff stuff from the user repository so anything you want you can get firefox chromium google chrome you know whatever browser opera and so on uh, to use all right and a uh, quick look at the uh, light dm configuration uh, right here just supply your user password that you've made when you uh, installed and you can do lots of things you can choose an image so where it has done none, none here just click that just go to other location computer uh, usr share and down to backgrounds gnome and do that again say uh road or something click open you can usually hit save and you can have a theme uh, uh the default theme here is new mix and mate fans a dark icon so save the panel if you want it in 12 hour just take out the, the capital H and put in a capital I if you want seconds you put a colon uh, percent s and you can see it's changing here and then another space percent it's a dollar sign sorry uh, percent small letter P and then it shows you AMP in and under window position you just can just drag it if you wish around so whatever where wherever you want say what you know save and close and under uh, your username you go to your username you click account settings you can uh, choose a picture from here say a fish or whatever that is close and then uh, you can try it out just select uh, your username and log out again and there we go there's your time date uh, name your machine the session and log in so there you have it I hope um, to get this uploaded soon um, maybe by the time you watch this video it will be already uploaded and hopefully you can try it out at least in VirtualBox if you if you think you're gonna like this you can install on your hard drive uh, with a few options so there we go, an introduction to another project, uh, Gnome X. Okay, so that should do for this one, and thank you so much for watching. We'll talk to you soon, and bye for now.